which is your own self, is revealing itself to you, revealing itself to its other parts, or it appears to be that way, it looks like it. And, but your brother, your twin brother or sister is not feeling it and they're not there. So it depends where we are in our spiritual growth and path and evolution, where are we at? So it's happening for you. And as you enter into the spiritual market, you're going to hear about it. And there's thousands of books about higher self and guides and angels. Uh, there's schools. Actually, you can go to schools to become, to get a certificate for becoming an angel or connecting with angels. Um, I know people who are either teaching it or um, have participated in angel schools. So do angels exist? Is there something such as angels? Some of us have seen angels. Some of us have been in touch with angels. Um, some of us feel them, hear them. Obviously, it's, they, there is an existence of some sort of higher power or some sort of intelligence that identify itself as angels. I mean, I've had five near-death experiences and many, many dangerous situations that I put myself into. And definitely there must, there has to be, or there, there has been something that has protected me up to this point. Something, something, some, we can call it angel, has definitely been watching me and keeping an eye on this on this man this boy from getting himself killed or dismembered something is <laughs> something's there and um like for example in 2009 when I started getting contacted by these beings, these entities identifying themselves to me as my fifth dimensional guides. And that's where the whole fifth dimensional quantum healing and awareness eventually was born, was being contacted by these guides, by these beings. But the deeper I go within my own consciousness, the more clear it becomes that there is no separation. So if an angel or a guide contacts me or a being, an entity wants to do any kind of um, tra transference of energy or channeling through through me for example so or through you is it separated from who you are is there a difference because once you begin to expand your consciousness and you begin to realize that there is no other the others do not exist outside of your, yourself. Yeah, when you're just your attention, your consciousness is so narrow into only one singularity that you're one unit, you're one person. And this person is separated from everything else. And that's what has been your our experience of being separated. 
naturally when you experience that and so there's others and they exist and they're there to hurt you or invade your space whatever it is you have to protect yourself from others and at the times that they do they hurt you or they violate you or they enter into your space but as you are expanding your consciousness you begin to see that there is no such a thing as others there is no others they don't exist We have a couple visiting me, visiting us from Iran. Hi. Ni nice to see you. I, I saw I saw your message. Uh, let's see. Can you on we we talk after I finish and then I'll say hello to you, okay? You understand? Welcome. Welcome. بعد از اکادمی آخر اکادمی باتون صحبت میکنم so um if there okay there is no others there's nothing outside of you everything is you everything is part of you is like is my hand separated from me you know is this finger you know is separated from me and does this hand is going to come after let's say my face or going after this other hand this hand wants to kill this hand everything in the body is a part of the one thing the functioning of the physical body the eye the hair the ears everything it's all part of the one so when you start to open up and start to see and finally break through the box break through this level of individuality and in separation you begin to open up and see and obviously sometimes you may get a glimpse of the vastness but for most most of us there's no way you can understand it because it's too much so but you start getting glimpse of the oneness then the your higher self is your you your angels and guides are from the same oneness they're all the part of the one they're all a part of yourself and they're all a part of everything else so there is no separation Does this make sense to anyone? Yeah. Just want to make sure we understand this this part before I I go forward. Let me check our YouTube friends just for one moment. See what's going on here. Okay. I don't know. I don't see any comments here. Okay. Or if there are, I don't know where to find them right now. But anyway, so now is does everybody on this planet the same, or they look the same, or they have the same behavior? No, 